we know that the pH scale is our way of indicating how acidic or basic a substance is. And essentially what that does is it does that by measuring the concentration of hydronium ions present in a solution. And the reason why hydronium ions works even for acids and bases is because we know from our ionic product of water that the hydronium ions are inversely proportional to the concentration of hydroxide ions in that solution. So our most simple example is we are given a strong acid. We are told hydrochloric acid is added to water and that has a solution or a concentration of 9.77 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per cubic decimeter. Now, since we know that strong acids are acids that dissociate completely in water and hydrochloric acid is a strong acid, that means that since the ratio of hydrochloric acid to hydronium is 1 to 1, that means that there must be 9.77 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per cubic decimeter of hydronium present in the solution, which means that we can use our pH calculation over here, the negative log of that hydronium concentration, 9.77 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per cubic decimeter, to find that the pH for this hydrochloric acid solution is 3.01, which we can see is a pH of a fairly strong acid. The bases are slightly more complicated in that we have a certain amount of sodium hydroxide, which we know is also a strong base, which means that it will dissociate completely in water. So we've been given the concentration of sodium, of sodium hydroxide. Again, the ratio of sodium hydroxide to hydroxide is 1 to 1, and it dissociates completely, so we can then safely say that the concentration of hydroxide must then be 9.52 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per cubic decimeter. But that is our hydroxide concentration and not the hydronium concentration. So there we use the ionic product of water, which is this identity that says the concentration of hydronium multiplied by that of hydroxide will always be 1 times 10 to the minus 14 in water at 25 degrees Celsius. So we can then substitute our hydroxide ion concentration in here. and solve to find the hydronium ion concentration in the solution, which we find to be 1.05 times 10 to the minus 11 moles per cubic decimeter, which we then know we can substitute into our pH calculation the negative log of that hydronium concentration to find that this solution of sodium hydroxide has a pH of 10.98, which makes sense, once again, that this is a fairly strong base. So this is an easy calculation when you have strong acids or bases, because you know it dissociates completely. When it is a weak acid or base, we would have to be given the Kc value so that you can calculate where equilibrium lies and what percentage or what proportion becomes products, and then you can calculate the concentration of your unknown from there before proceeding. You will see that it is also at, po at times possible to calculate the pH um, by using something called P -O pOH, so it's just 14 minus essentially the inverse of our hydronium concentration. We prefer not to teach this method as the way in which it is marked in exams is sometimes unclear, so we rather use this method that is always marked correctly and in the same format.